I want to talk about Black Widow. Uh, let's see. Overall, the movie was okay. Uh, I think, I think they they released it at the wrong time. Uh, I think they should have released it earlier. Like, at, at, I think I think they should release it after Civil War. Like, actually after Civil War, like it was supposed to be. Or release it before, just any time before Endgame. Like, they had a long time to release it. They could have been made this. I don't know why they chose to... I don't know why they chose to release it so late. And I'm not necessarily mad. Like, if you go back and watch it in timeline order, it fits perfectly. It's just out of place now. And... That's the weird thing. It's really out of place. Like, really out of place now. Cause we're, cause we're in this new rebuild stage for Marvel. And getting Black Widow now feels really weird. Like, it's like a, I don't know. I guess we, I guess if we wouldn't have had all the Marvel shows, it would feel better. But even then, um, just watching it was just like a, a reminder of what it, where it could. I don't know. It just it, it should have should have released sooner. But um, and the movie didn't have any. Oh, spoiler review by the way. I'll put that in the title. Um, the movie didn't really have. that standout moment like when you think of marvel movies it's always those moments in those movies every movie has a moment like iron man 3 to reveal that mandarin is you know trevor the actor trevor whatever his name is and uh civil war black panther and spider-man and you know the villain ended up being which we all knew tony and him was gonna fight but the revelation of the revelation of Winter Soldier killing Tony's parents or um, Spider-Man Homecoming where, you know, his date was Vulture's daughter or Mary Poppins, uh, the, the dad scene, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 or, um, gosh, I can go on, but Black Widow, like, when I think about going back to watch Black Widow, it's like the first Marvel movie that I can't, I don't feel like going back to rewatch, and I don't know, that's a sad thing, because I'm a big Marvel fanatic, like, I'm, I, you guys here on the podcast, like, if you don't hear on the podcast, go watch my podcast, uh, but yet, like, I don't know, like, it didn't, and all the talk about all the Avengers and none of them cameo, like, I didn't necessarily, like, care that they was in the movie, but it's just, like, they mentioned them so much that you feel like one of them should have been, like, like Hawkeye, like, we get the flashback, there's so much talk about Budapest, and we never got the Budapest mission, they finally elaborate on it, but how much would have you, how much... How awesome would it have would I love that, I'm gonna work. How dope would it have been if they showed every time they mention like those scenes that they showed in Black Widow, how dope would it have been if every time they talked about the Budapest like oh the scene when they was camping out in, in the vents, they flash back to her and Hawkeye playing tic tac toe or hangman like you've seen written on the uh, vent, or when she was like, oh, when uh, Yelena, y- 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 um the little sister, well, Black Widow's little sister, I can't think of her name right now, uh, when she was like, what bullets make those, she was like, there's no bullets, arrows, they flashed back to her and Hawkeye fighting in the house, and when, they, when you heard him on the phone, like, do I do, you know, is it time, do I do it now? And, like, you've seen him on the phone instead of, like, just hearing his voice and stuff like that. I feel like the movie could have, like, showed us so much Budapest 
uh, that, that they could have showed us that mission so much because it's one of the biggest things that they talked about all throughout Hawkeye and, and Black Widow's journey. Like that that's the mission that gave them their relationship and just for it to be just one over lines in the Black Widow movie, we should have had that. Like think about in Iron Man 3 when Iron Man or anytime Iron Man talks about his parents, we get a flashback. Or we get this, or like if they reference something in an Iron Man movie, it always comes back full circle. Either we get a flashback scene or we get something. Like in Civil War, when you saw how he left his parents, or, you know, we saw the car crash that killed him, or, um, what else was it? We saw all the videotapes in Iron Man 2 when Tony was like learning about his dad and like how his dad cared about him and stuff like that. Like, I feel like Black Widow didn't have that, those moments for me. Yeah, we got the stuff when they were kids, but that's not what, that's not the journey that made Black Widow, Black Widow. You see what I'm saying? Like, from what we know from Iron Man 2 to Endgame was like her trying to, you know, do right. And you saw the growth of her searching for a family. And then her finding, well, first it was her finding her place. And then in, in Avengers was her accepting her place in her home in the Avengers and the squad. And then her being the mama bear to all of them. And then her, you know, getting that family back and like doing whatever it takes to like not only have her family back together but save the world and to right the the wrongs of her past and like die the hero she was in Endgame and it's just like the Black Widow didn't do it did her justice but it was like it wasn't the puzzle piece that was like, ah, oh, that's the complete Black Widow story. It was like, okay, this is a segment to complement Black Widow's story if you go back and rewatch the timeline again, which if you watch it like that, it's amazing. And, 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 and it, But you can go without it. Like, if you think of the Infinity Saga, there's some movies you can skip, but they all have a place. Not necessarily you can skip, like they all tell a story that's important and intricate. And Black Widow didn't really need that. Like I'd rather the Black Widow movie would have been either more about her sister, honestly. Like how they're doing the Hawkeye show, like the passing the torch. Like, yeah, I get that they passed the torch to her sister, but it's like, it's too late, kind of. Like they could have just gave us her sister in the Hawkeye show like they're doing and then gave us an episode or two of her doing the Budapest stuff and all the stuff in the movie in the Hawkeye show. Honestly, if you want to be real with it, like the, the Black Widow movie didn't give us, it didn't give me that punch, that like, that knockout that I wanted to do. And and this is already set in the bar low because we are in. I, I already accepted that after Endgame, it's gonna be a whole new different Marvel. And we're already seeing that with the Loki show and and just certain choices. Like even in One Division, like as much as I love uh, Photon being in the show, like she never idolized Captain Marvel in the comics for real like how they're trying to make her out to be which is fine i know the mc is gonna you know take stuff and change it here and there but it's just a little like i don't want her to be i want her to be the full time that i read in the comics like and she actually want to get you know into comic book lore she was the first captain marvel and so like I feel like then I don't want her character just to be a sidekick because she's not. She's not the sidekick that they're trying to make her out to be, nor does she glorifies um, Captain Marvel. But but I don't want. I, I I didn't. That's what they did to Black Widow, kind of like it just made her seem like her movie was just there for no reason. 
Like it's just like there for no reason. And I don't I didn't want that. Not for like the final not not for the, the female superhero movie Marvel fans actually want. Like no offense to Captain Marvel. I love Captain Marvel. She's one of my favorite like cosmic heroes, but nobody really asked for that. And she didn't play a major part in Endgame. I feel like that Black Widow movie could have been where Captain Marvel's at and everybody would have been happy. Like, if that movie, if we would have got the same Marvel, if we would have had the same Black Widow movie where Captain Marvel's at and they added us, like, the, the, the Hawkeye stuff, like, just think about it in your head. All the scenes that just explained were Hawkeye, but give us those flashbacks. That make, that jumps the movie up ten times just because we finally get to see the Budapest stuff. And we get to see like how her and Hawkeye gained that that that, that brotherhood, that brother sister bond that they have that that they talk about so much. And it's just like I don't know, like there's so much stuff that they could. And now I even got to the actual movie stuff, like just different stuff in the movie that was weird. But they didn't do that, and I felt like. And I know that they. this is a Black Widow movie, but you don't have Black Widow without Hawkeye. Not in the MCU, at least. You don't. And to, to have that major important character gone from it, I don't know. It's, it's like it was missing that, that, that. Like, especially if we're talking about Black Widow, like showing how Black Widow got to, you know, to where she's at in Iron Man 2, like the missing puzzle piece. I don't know, I just felt like Hawkeye, they, they, they should have had Hawkeye. At least Hawkeye out of all of them. Like Black Widow's gonna be in Hawk, like, you know, Black Widow's little sister is gonna be in Hawkeye. And from what it's looking like, she's the villain that Hawkeye and, you know, Kate Bishop is gonna be fighting in the Black Widow in, in the Hawkeye show. So it's just like, you give us Black Widow in Hawkeye, but you can't give us Hawkeye and Black Widow. Like, it, it's, it's mind boggling. It's really mind boggling. And again, I don't wanna take away from Black Widow, but they're not taking away from Hawkeye and they're still giving us Black Widow. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's weird. It's really weird. Like, it's really weird. Like, those two are yin and yang. Yin and yang. And they just go together. And I feel like that was like a... And I know... And I he didn't have to be in there the whole time. Like I said, just a flashback stuff. Because, like, you talk... Uh, it's just it's just one of them. I don't want to keep talking about that part for it, But it's just... One of the things that was missing to me. Um, and another thing is like, it's, they made, fuck, if you didn't know Black Widow didn't have superpowers, you thought she had superpowers in this movie. The whole time, she's like grabbing on the ledges, falling from like 100 feet, and like, like bouncing on the ground and getting up from these falls and another black widow that's like chasing her and stuff was like hitting the ground, breaking her leg and like black widow would just get up and just like dust it off and just keep going on. And it's like, yeah, I know she's a badass, but she is not what they show in the movie. And it's just like, I don't know, the whole time I was watching it, like I was enjoying it, but it's like, it's kind of breaking the realism. Like it's breaking her character. She's not that it'd be different if black widow had a super soldier serum and they even had a super soldier in the movie and he wasn't doing none of the shit black widow was doing it's crazy it is it was weird it was weird like it's like they just i don't know for a movie that's been in development i mean been in a cooker for three years now was it in game came out in 2019 they start they shot it in 2019 2018 and then had all of last year to fix it and stuff and edit it and for it to be for it to be in the oven that long and they still like left little stuff like that in there and it was just kind of like yeah no nah, like she she should have been hurt or something and it, it's 
I don't know, I didn't like that. That was that was something. And then um to just botch Rave Guardian, Iron Maiden. I don't really read much I don't really know much about um, Iron Maiden. I didn't even know that was Iron Maiden in the movie, like I, I seen on YouTube somewhere that that was Iron Maiden. I forgot who that the uh the mother of Natasha was in the movie. Like I didn't I I didn't remember her name from somewhere and and that's why. And it's just like Iron they just they didn't even let Iron Maiden be somewhat near. They just chose her name. Like you should have did that for somebody else. Like you could have gave her anybody. Even even with um your uh Yelena's character. I think his name is Yelena. Yeah, well, your second. <laughs> I'm just saying Natasha's little sister, Black Widow's little sister, little widow. She, they're not even like they're no, they're she's just like another Black Widow. She became like she took up the mantle for like a little bit, I think, but she wasn't nobody important. And they just chose her. I feel like they could have gave that to somebody. I don't know. It's a lot of things that they. It's a lot of things the MCU is doing weird. And I'm hoping Shang-Chi, like, gets back on path because I'm scared that Marvel, even though we're in the rebuild phase and it's back, like, it's right, we're right back at how it was with Iron Man 1 and, like, just getting characters, their own movies and getting back known and stuff and getting the spotlight back on these characters is just really weird that... I, and I don't want I don't want to like lose faith in the MCU and I know these and regardless of what they Kevin Feige and the new people at Marvel do now like it's gonna make money but I feel like they're like driving away from like the comic the real comic book fans that made the MCU what it is today it, it's it's really weird especially with Red Guardian like they made Red Guardian like like he's like a Captain Wannabe, which he's not. He's nowhere near Captain Wannabe, a Captain America Wannabe, but the, he, they made him so like high strong on like missing his chance at being the next Captain America. It's just, it's really weird how they do him because in the comics, he is the Russian Captain America and he, he does his, like he has his own stuff and just to bring him down to that and just like a punching, like he's a super soldier punching bag. Or the Black Widows, and it's like there's a lot they could have deal with him, and they didn't. That I don't want to get too much on him because that's it's the weird, it's weird what they did to his character. It's okay, but he was just there in the movie. They could have did something else with him. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of the characters in the movie is just there to be there. They could have did something totally different and still gave us the same movie. They could have written out a, Natasha's whole family and just gave us her sister from like the Red Room and it could have just been about them and it had been, I would have enjoyed it a whole lot more I feel like if it was just like her and her sister the whole time, which it basically was but, and it felt like they shoehorned in the dad and the mom, I ain't really shoehorned it in. I mean, I see how her mom like why they written her mom in because she's the only one that knew where um the red room and stuff was this whole time and everybody was um in the sky so there's other ways they could they done did a whole lot of stuff in the mcu there's other ways they could have wrote all of that in without the whole family dynamic they could have just focused on like you know natasha because they could have just focused on like her finding her sister and saying like she had family or whatnot. Because what in what movie they said that she what movie was it that she said she found her mom and dad's Oh, it was Civil War, like she found her mom and dad's grave and it's just like and but in the damn Black Widow movie she just realized that her mom wasn't was looking for her the whole time. So it doesn't I don't know, it it it's like a little wreck. It's, it's weird how they wrote it. Because some parts from earlier movies, it's like it doesn't make sense anymore. And then going from Black Widow to Endgame. Like, say you watch Black Widow and then watch Endgame. And then her say, like, she had nothing. And now she has this family. It's just like, 
But you just found out you had you had your whole Russian family and you claim them as your family, so it's just like why did they it's like they didn't pay attention. It like and that's another thing too with the MCU now, like just stay <laughs> stay out of the timeline now. Like now that we're doing endgame, stay out of it. Don't mess with it anymore. Don't insert movies in anymore. You can like reference like a year in that big timeline, but don't, cause now you, you're getting into territory where you're messing with like what is done, like the perfect boat that is the Infinity Saga. And little lines like that now is going to not make sense for people who come back and watch it and then watch it in timeline order. Like if you didn't know, like if you didn't watch it, how you know people like Hollywood fans watched it coming out, and you want to watch it in timeline order, it's not gonna make sense anymore. So that's another thing. But that's just nit. I get no, it's not really nitpick because if you think about the everyday movie goer and people who are fans of the MCU now, by just the movies, they're going to like look at little stuff like that. Hell, look at how they did Spider-Man in the eight years and they messed that up. And I don't even know if they still, I don't think they still fix that in a Blu-ray copy or in a digital copy, but that's what I'm saying. Like now it's getting to like little stuff like that. Whereas uh, they're, me they're messing up. They, they're gonna mess up the whole Infinity Saga to keep doing stuff like that, which I don't know. I hope they don't. The uh, only thing I want from the MCU now is explaining how the Mandarin was here the whole time while Trevor Lacey's character was playing the Mandarin, which I know we got the one shot in Thor, the Dark World, world, but not everybody watched the one shot unless she was just like a super comic book fan. And that's nothing to irritate me. I wish we got Tony versus the Mandarin. Oh my gosh. The real Tony, like the meat, the real Tony, the real Mandarin versus Tony. Gosh. Oh well, that's just another thing we're never gonna get. Damn man. If I want any, I don't even want that from the MCU. Them bringing in another Tony. No, not yet. I don't want no other Tony. But I do wish we would have got that. But anyway, um, what else about the movie? Um, oh, the gripe, uh, so Black Widow, so come to find out, Black Widow is the one that had got the Quinjet to release, you know, to go get, uh, Hawkeye and Falcon and all of them from the raft, which I know she went and got Cap first, but I don't know, it just kind of lessens Cap's moment at the end of Civil War, unless he got them and then met, met everybody. I don't know, that, that scene was weird, which I know it like brings up her character. It's just weird how they placed it. They could they could have said something like, they could have said something else, but they made it seem like she broke everybody out, which I mean, she could break everybody out, but oh, the main thing that gets me is how the hell she get away at the end? like. It's like they wrote her to get captured, to get put in jail, just for her to be gone two weeks later. Like, it doesn't make sense. That didn't make sense. I wish they could have, out of everything they could have elaborated on, they should have elaborated on that, and they should have elaborated on how she got to Cap to get everybody out of the end. Because at the end of Civil War, Cap breaks everybody out. And that leads to, you know, the movie could have been a lot of other stuff. The movie could have been about... The movie could have been about her in Budapest with Hawkeye and then her and Cap and this being... Her and Cap, Hawkeye, not, not Hawkeye, her Cap and Falcon and everybody and uh, Wanda being the secret Avengers for those what, two years? Was it two, three years that they were gonna run? Like, they could have, like, told a Secret Avengers story. Like, the hell, they gave Cap Civil War. They could have gave Black Widow the Secret Avengers story and, like, placed that and, made, and like, gave us, like, a 
more emphasis on, I don't know, they could have did a lot more. I don't know, Black Widow didn't have that. I don't know, I guess it was just on one of that big standout moment for Black Widow. Like none of the fight scenes. Oh, and what they did to Taskmaster. Oh my gosh, Taskmaster, they kind of ruined. They didn't kind of, they did. They just took Taskmaster. And I don't know why they had to tie it back to, they had to tie it back to Black Widow somehow, which, you know, I get. But it's just like, the Taskmaster was only Taskmaster in the name alone. That's it. That's it. Like, the whole muscle memory stuff. They, like, made him into a damn Spartan and get, put a chip in her back head. And, like, she recorded, like, all the Avengers fights. And, like, she only did, like, their poses. Like, and I know that was a joke in the movie. But, like, she did the, uh... She did Black Panther's, like, nail thing. Like, did a little claw thing. And then she did... Um... Who else in the movie? She did, like, a Bucky, like, knife thing or whatever. She did, like... You know, she mimicked all of them in, like, a couple frames. But other than that, like, she fought more like Black Widow. I feel like they should have made her Black Widow instead. Which she technically was, I guess, since she grew up in the red room. But... They just, they, they ruined Taskmaster. They, they ruined Taskmaster's like Taskmaster. They could have did a whole lot more with it. I, they only chose Taskmaster because it was a big enough villain for her movie, but a small enough character that they could change and like nobody would realize, which people realize. And it's like, so Taskmaster is, his whole thing is like muscle memory. And like the more he fights you and the more you fight him, he learns you and can like, you know, predict your next move. It's it's crazy. But it's I mean at this point in MCU is doable. And like I think I think uh, the whole learning you and predicting you is something he does later, taking like some enhancement drug, like um like a, not a super soldier serum, but like a but uh a serum that like enhances his muscle memory abilities and then he can predict your mood like the more he fights you and stuff but it's just like none of that was in the movie not a drop of that and it's just like she just watches her watches all the adventures and can fight like him and then like how they did the poor pigs in the movie and they learned how to like the oh and the whole plot about like forcing the black widows to just be obedient and stuff in the movie that was kind of creepy not gonna lie but i get it so to give that and make taskmaster like the perfect sale version <laughs> like you got all the androids and then sale is the perfect version well picture all the black widows are the androids and then taskmaster is the perfect sale they kind of just did that and then but they didn't really, uh, they didn't, like, he, like, Taskmaster did not, then once, like, I don't know, didn't fight, like, Iron Man. They, like, did, like, certain moves, that was it. Like, it was just, they just made it seem like, oh, it's weird. It's so weird how they did Taskmaster. I can't even, like, elaborate on it good enough. Like, it's like, I'm just rambling. But it's just, it's so weird how they did Taskmaster. It doesn't feel, if you're a comic book nerd, and you, when you watch it, you will understand it's just weird. They just butchered it. But they butchered it. They, they just butchered it. It just, it just, it's not Taskmaster. And it sucks. It sucks. Like, I was really looking forward to Taskmaster. Like, he shoot bows like Hawkeye. Oh, it's just, you just gotta, you just, it's weird. Like, they did, he like mimicked each Avenger at least once. Except for Spider-Man. He, he didn't mimic Spider-Man. I don't even know Spider-Man take no Spider-Man takes place after. No, it takes place right after Civil War. So and it getting time on time on not weird, but you you have to just watch it. But I don't know man. I expected more from Black Widow. And it took me a while to do this review because it's like I was excited to see a Marvel movie. 
after after being so long and I'm happy we got it it was much needed but it, it didn't do what it, it didn't do what it was supposed to be it it didn't it didn't it didn't live up to the black widow thing it didn't live up to the hype honestly and I don't know if it's the climate of like, you know, the air we live in, all the social justice warrior stuff going on. And I hope I don't want I don't want Marvel to be that. And I hope Marvel doesn't turn into just that which it looks like it's going to. But Black Widow could have just been a great, amazing Black Widow movie. Still, they could have did so much. They, they could like and gender bending Taskmaster was like they could have gave us master. Like they could have gave us Taskmaster as Taskmaster. Even with the gender bending, they could have still gave us that and just gave like made like I oh, so like they could have made Taskmaster Taskmaster the gender bend like a female version as they did. And then made it to her like when she survived the explosion or something. The drug was like a like a like a prototype drug of the drug that enhances the makes the black widows obey and stuff. But they learned that they like while wow, she like a like a fighting drug. I don't know, like so many ways they could have did. It. Hell in, in the movie, like when they get the drug, when they get the drug to um when they get the drug to uh damn man, to break the black widow's curse and I like I ain't even touch on that. And um the the black widow's like curse, not curse, a little mind controlling thing that they got going on. They talked about giving it to like Tony, to like, you know, one of the uh scientists that she knows to like reverse engineer and stuff to figure it out. And then when she explained it, the drug, they could have gave taskmasters through that drug. You know? But gave it like a prototype version to where like she still had all the muscle memory stuff but it was a prototype i don't know like i don't know like if i can't if i sat and came up with it i can come up with it i'm just coming off the dome right now but it's a lot of things they could have do they could have did and they did it and it sucks but i'm going to end the video right here I'll probably give it a three. I, I know as a standalone movie, you don't have to watch it. You really don't. I feel like it like kind of lessens her story because if you look at her story from Iron Man two to Endgame, it's perfect. It's beautiful. You could have just you could have took all of those segments throughout all those movies and pieced it together as her movie, and it would have been better than the movie. Literally, not even joking. So, but if you go and watch all the movies in timeline order, okay, it's, it's it fits like it's supposed to. I guess if they were going for that, they did they did a perfect job. But I'm gonna end it right there. Yep, I'm gonna end it right there.